Hi, I'm immigration attorney Jim Hacking, practicing law throughout the United States out of our office here in St. Louis, Missouri. I wanted to shoot today's video to talk to you a little bit about a recent success story that we had for one of our clients. His name is Mohammed, and he's from Houston. But originally he's from Lebanon and he had applied for citizenship many years ago. Mohammed had uh, gotten his green card through work and was able to eventually have enough time in the United States to be eligible to apply for citizenship. Of course, when you get your green card through employment, you have to wait the full five years to apply for naturalization. Mohammed went ahead and filed his N-400, which is the application for naturalization, and he had his biometrics, which is his fingerprinting, and then uh, he had his interview notice. So he received an interview notice, he went down to the immigration office, he passed his civics test, he passed his English test, and the officer went over the entire application with him. The officer told him that everything looked good, but his case had been um, postponed and delayed, and he hadn't gotten a decision. In fact, more than two years had gone by since Muhammad had his interview. Now, he was very frustrated. Muhammad um, felt bad. He thought there was something wrong with him or something wrong with his application. The people around him who knew that he applied for citizenship, he felt like they were looking down on him or they were thinking there was something in his file. And he was very upset about the treatment that he was receiving from USCIS. Now, he had done a lot of things to try to make his case go along. Muhammad went down to the local USCIS office in Houston. He made info pass appointments. And he talked to different frontline officers asking them what's going on with my case. And they would tell him different things. They would tell him it's still pending, tell him it's a background check, tell him it's with a supervisor. There's lots of little answers that Muhammad received. And he was really getting more and more frustrated because he couldn't get any answers. He even asked to talk to a supervisor one time, and the supervisor told him politely that when the case was done being uh, reviewed, he would be scheduled for an oath ceremony. But, you know, he was banging his head on the wall down at the USCIS office. So he also called the 1-800 number. So USCIS has a 1-800 number that you can call to try to get movement on your cases. And he got the same sort of runaround, the same sort of non-answers. Um, you know, USCIS, they like to tell you lots of different reasons why your case is being delayed. And so then he also went to his senator. He went to, believe it or not, Senator Ted Cruz's office. And he asked Senator Cruz's office, they have an immigration liaison, someone that works in the senator's office, who's usually like an intern or a brand new college grad. And their job is to help with constituents. And one of the things that they do is they interact with USCIS. And the uh, constituent services person told Muhammad that they were gonna do everything they could, and they did. They, they followed up with USCIS, they followed up with the ombudsman but they didn't get any real answers. And so after all this time, Muhammad was very frustrated. And so he got on the internet and he started looking around. He was looking for someone to help him with his two year delay. Now, the law says that if you've had your interview and 120 days have gone by, that you can go into federal court and ask a judge to order USCIS to naturalize you or to naturalize you themselves. So they actually have the power to conduct your naturalization hearing in court if more than 120 days had gone by. Now, of course, Muhammad's case was long past that 120 day deadline. So Muhammad looked around and he found different websites, he found different things, and he learned about our firm. He learned about our success in suing USCIS, that we've helped a lot of people and guided them through that lawsuit process in which you sue USCIS and you ask a judge to compel them to make that decision. USCIS generally doesn't like being sued, so when you file a lawsuit, things start moving, and that's what we told Muhammad. Muhammad uh, had a consult with me. We got on a Skype call, and we were able to talk through his issues. He had some things in his um, past, not criminal things or anything, but just some things, little signs that maybe his case was being delayed by something called CARP, and I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But basically, uh, he had been visited by the FBI once before. I think it was nothing more than racial profiling. It wasn't like he was involved in anything nefarious, but rather that he uh, had been contacted by the FBI. He traveled overseas sometimes. He also sent money back home overseas. And these are the kinds of things that can lead someone to having their cases delayed. And so I said to Muhammad, your case might be delayed by CARP. And he said, what's CARP? I said, CARP is the um, program that was secret for a long time. It's called the Controlled Application Review and Resolution Program. And it was a program that was discovered by the ACLU. And it, this is basically a bunch of different agencies working together to uh, slow down immigration to the United States by Muslims. And one of the first prongs of that attack 
is in the naturalization context because if they can slow down Muhammad from getting his citizenship, then that's going to slow him down from bringing his mother or father or a spouse or whatever. And so we talked a long time about CARP. I sent him some material explaining how CARP worked and how it's really hard to get off the CARP list. And so Muhammad said he was going to talk to his wife and he went home and he talked to his wife. And then a few days later, I got an email. Hey, Jim, I want to go ahead and file that lawsuit. And so we talked about the filing fee cost $400 and we talked about our legal fee. And we uh, sent him an agreement. We uh, took him on as a client. We were really excited to try to help Muhammad. And I filed a lawsuit for him. We took us a few days to get the lawsuit on file. And basically, we outlined how his case was being illegally delayed. And we filed that lawsuit in Washington, DC. We sent Muhammad a copy of the lawsuit. But we also sent copies of the lawsuit along with summonses to the US attorney in Washington, DC and all the defendants. So when you file the lawsuit, you get a copy of it. You get these things called summonses. And that's notice to the defendants that they've been sued. And I told Muhammad that once they got served, then this clock started ticking. So 60 days went by. Um, it, that's how much time they get to answer the complaint. But about 30 days into it, Muhammad, believe it or not, received an oath ceremony. In fact, I just sent it to him on Friday. And so uh, he was ecstatic. Um, I don't usually do this, but I got to FaceTime with him when I told him that his case was scheduled for oath ceremony, that he was going to become a naturalized US citizen in a couple weeks. And he was really, really happy. He, he had a lot of pressure on his back because he'd been waiting for so long and so many people were wondering why his case was taking so long. So in emails back and forth with Muhammad after he got off the phone, he told me about what a burden it was and how happy he was that he was able to um, now get sworn in. So in a couple of weeks, Muhammad will go down to the Houston uh, USCIS office and get sworn in uh, as a US citizen. He'll then be able to vote and have all the privileges of a naturalized U.S. citizen. So, of course, obviously, do I even need to say it? I'm very happy for Muhammad. Very happy that we were able to help him out. And we really like this part of the immigration process. This is something we've done now almost 200 times that is suing USCIS to try to get people the immigration benefits that they need. So if you have any questions or if you're feeling like your case might be delayed by CARP, sort of like Muhammad, uh, or if you want to learn more about how our lawsuits work to try to move cases along, give us a call at 314-961-8200. You can email us at info at hackinglawpractice.com. And if you like this video, please be sure to share it with your friends. If you know anybody who you think might have a case delayed by CARP, be sure to uh, send them this video, let them know about us. And uh, find us in our Facebook group. It's called Immigrant Home. We'd love to see you in there. There's a lot of good discussion about immigration matters in the Immigrant Home group. And then be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you later.